Hey guys, it's Luke, and in this video, we're going to talk about really useful English learning resources, resources you can use to improve your English. But before we do that, make sure, if you haven't already, that you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, give the video a like if you like it, and don't forget to check out my courses in the links in the description of this video. All right, let's get started. There are so many resources out there that you can use to improve your English, whether it's written English, spoken English, or just overall English knowledge. So how do you find which ones are best? Well, you can watch this video. You can learn what I think are the best resources to help you improve your English. Now, the things I'm going to recommend in this video are of two different types. Number one, learning resources. So things that can help you gain more English knowledge, which is important, of course. And also practice resources, ways to actually improve your skills, build better habits, some things that you can start working into your English learning lifestyle. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with practice resources. I mean, it, listen, we are talking about practice. We talking about practice. We talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? Man, we talking about practice. What are we talking about? Practice? We talking about practice, man. So many of my students over the years, so many people that I know who are working on their English have asked me, is there a way to find some kind of language partner, a study buddy, or someone who I can at least talk with because I know that it's very important if I want to be a better speaker that I practice a lot, that I actually speak. Is there anything that I can do? Well, actually, there is a really good app for this. It's called HelloTalk, and I would really recommend it because the whole purpose of this app is to help you find a language partner. You put in your own language or languages, and then you put in the languages you want to learn, for example, English, and then they help you find someone to talk to, a partner, and you can chat with them, you can send voice messages back and forth, and it can be a very productive way to practice the language that you want to learn. They have all different languages, so it's a pretty cool community. They also have, I should say, some courses that you can take. They have one-to-one -one classes. I should mention, by the way, that I'm involved in one of the companies that's involved with HelloTalk, so Full disclosure, okay, if you take the one-to-one -one classes, I am involved in that a little bit, but it is a really cool app. Now, it's not very strict. It's not super organized. They don't tell you, okay, you do this with this person now. You have to build your own relationships. You have to kind of figure it out for yourself. And this platform, and it's basically a way to find a community, which is basically what HelloTalk is, a community of other language learners who want to practice. It's that simple. It's pretty cool. Now, what about practicing your writing? Some people say, oh, writing and speaking are not related at all. Well, they are actually. If you're a really good writer, you're more likely to be a good speaker. Maybe the confidence part isn't there, but you're more likely to be more accurate when you're speaking if you're a good writer. So it's actually very important to practice writing. Now, how can you do that? Well, there's a really cool platform called Quora. Quora is basically a question answer sort of platform. People ask questions about all kinds of things, culture, mathematics, you name it, everything. Okay. And then other people answer those questions and the best answers get voted to the top. Now I'm not recommending that you use this only as a way to learn new things. Although you can certainly, I'm talking about using this as a way to practice your writing skills. So find questions about things that you know about and then write answers to those questions and you'll feel encouraged by people voting your answer up. Ooh, I must have explained this very clearly. Wow. I sometimes answer questions on Quora and it makes me feel really good as a writer when people think that my answer is really clear, really well explained. So everybody knows something about something, figure out what you know about and go on to Quora and answer some questions as clearly as you can. 
Make it a habit. It's a great way to practice your writing. Now, I've also talked about Reddit before, but I want to just quickly mention it because it's such an important part of the English speaking internet or English speaking internet culture, right? People use Reddit as a way to get news, as a way to have a feeling of community online. This is a great way to get involved in a community, in an English speaking community with people who share your interests. Number one, you're going to learn more about your interests in English because people will be posting in the communities that you're interested in every day. You'll see news as well, so you can learn from that. And very importantly, you can, you can comment on things. So you can practice your writing skills as well. Now it's more casual than Quora maybe because you're just typing quick comments, but the back and forth, the interaction feels kind of like a conversation, even though you're not speaking. It's that back and forth that you're practicing, building confidence, improving your ability to express yourself and respond to what someone else has said, right? And maybe someone writes something and you don't understand it. So you have to figure out what that means first. Okay, I gotta figure this out. This means what, that means what. Okay, now I got it. Now I'm going to write a really, really clear response. And I'm going to make sure it's as clear and perfect as possible. You're going to be improving skills along the way as you do this, but you're not doing this just to improve skills. You're doing it to participate in a community. You're part of something. And so it's a lot more interesting than just practicing writing every day. So get involved in Reddit, get involved in Quora. These are all great resources for practicing English. Now let's talk about some great resources for learning English input. Teach me. The first learning resource I want to share with you is something I've made a whole video about. It's called the free dictionary. <laughs> if you've seen that video, you're probably rolling your eyes now because I spent 15 minutes talking about one thing. The free dictionary is great. It's very good. It's a great way to look up words, but most importantly, it's a great way to look up idioms. If you haven't seen my video, check that out. It teaches you how to use the website, but very few dictionaries allow you to search idioms and phrases. That one does with great examples. So definitely use the free dictionary to search idioms, things that you're getting from movies. It's, a, it's an awesome way to learn more about things that you can't find in a normal dictionary and things that are very difficult to translate. Now there are two learning platforms that are very good for learning any kind of thing. And I should say up front, I do have courses on these two platforms. I'm not only recommending these because I have courses there, but you can certainly check them out if you want. Now these two platforms, Udemy and Skillshare, basically have courses on almost anything that you can imagine almost anything. They're a little bit different. Udemy, you buy individual courses and Skillshare, you have a membership and you can take as many courses as you want. But you can, for example, learn things about English. You can learn about pronunciation. You can learn about idioms and phrases and grammar. But if you're learning about computers, you can learn about that. You can learn about photography. You can learn about art, whatever you're learning, whatever you want to learn. Udemy and Skillshare are really great resources for getting new knowledge. And the courses are usually really well organized. You go lesson by lesson, they're video lessons. So you actually watch each video and usually there are some notes and ways to practice after each one. So both of those are really good resources for learning whatever you want to learn, including English. Now, if you're interested in learning English generally, then you can check out BBC Learning English. Now it's just British English. So you have to kind of maybe be interested in learning British English. It's different from American English, but it's a good resource. The materials are quite, uh, quite useful, quite realistic. And I find uh, quite entertaining as well. I don't know them. I'm not connected to them in any way, but it's a pretty good resource. And as far as I know, it's 100% free. Now, I've also mentioned this before, but seriously, TED Talks are a great way to improve your English because, and there are a couple of reasons, I've mentioned this before, but listening skills, learning a wide range of vocabulary, 
right? Because TED Talks are on all different kinds of topics and they usually have translations into other languages and a transcript that you can play through as you watch the video so you can read every word. I would really recommend watching a TED Talk a day and try to watch each one without subtitles in your own language. Try to use the English subtitles. If you can understand me now, you should be able to understand most of what is said in most TED Talks. You should be able to, so check those out as well. And of course, you're here, right? So watch more of my videos. I have videos on all kinds of different topics, pronunciation and how to learn new skills and grammar and all of that stuff, right? If there are any topics that you want me to talk about and you can't find a video about that topic, let me know in the comments. Say, hey, can you do a video about blah, blah, blah? I read the comments, so maybe I can include that in a future video, okay? so. Leave your comments. Hopefully these resources will be useful to you as you think about how to build your English learning lifestyle. Looking forward to seeing what you write in the comments, to seeing your suggestions for video topics, and I will see you next time.